Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I am feeling a floating bloom coming along, but I want to do something a little bit different. So, uh, you know, I've got an idea in my head. We all know how that works, but uh, we're going to pe persevere with it anyway. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right. We are going to go over the uh, colors, the selectivator, the pillow, and then we'll get started painting. And <laughs> as you can see, I am in the basement again. My first color, I have got the Golden Fluid Iridescent Bright Gold. And I've actually let all of these paints, uh, at least these these uh, paints mixed with the pouring medium, because if they sit upstairs, they will uh, they will get a bit on the thinner side. So I've actually let them sit down here and they've thickened up a little bit, which is nice. So this one here is the gold and it is the Valspar Verithane pouring medium mix. There's that one. And my second color is this little piggy pigment pinwheel. Here's what it looks like in the container. And I just have a little bit left of this. This has been, this has actually been sitting around for quite some time. So it's gotten a little bit thick on me. And this is my Dutch boy, Joe Sonia pouring medium mix. Anyway, there's that. It is, it's kind of actually really thick, but I'm just going to go with it because I'm only going to use just a little bit anyway. So we'll just leave it as is. The, uh, my next one is the Joe Sonia black umber. Oops. My stick wanted to jump jump ship. <laughs> uh, this is also my Valspar Verithane Pouring Medium Mix. The The rest of the colors are are the Valspar Verithane Pouring Medium Mix. The only one that was different was the, the pigment, the Dutch Boy Joe Sonia. And I get asked that why I, uh, I use the Dutch Boy. I like the Dutch Boy. A little bit of a story. When I first started the blooms, I actually started with the Dutch Boy, but I had no idea what I was doing, so I didn't know if it worked well or not. But I always had a feeling about it, like, this this works really well and it's super clear. So I've always had it with me. And I like to use it for pigments because pigments, you know, when you're when you're mixing it with a thinner pouring medium, you're going to have to thicken it up with something anyways. And that tends to stay on the thicker side. So I like to mix my pigments up with uh, the Dutch Boy Joe Sonia. So, but again, this is Valspar Verithane Pouring Medium, medium Mix. And then my last color is also mixed with the Valspar Verithane. This is the Vallejo Fluid Acrylic uh, Fluorescent pink and I think this has been mixed up forever because it <laughs> it is almost gelatinous but again I'm only going to use just a little I'm probably going to end up tossing a couple of these because they're so old uh, but anyway there's that one and they have been sitting down here like I said so they did thicken up just a little bit now my cell activators I've got two today I've got my usual suspects, I've, and they're both mixed with Australian Floetrol at four to one, four parts, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint, and this is my Atelier Interactive Titanium White, and then this is my gold that I like to use, and if you have watched my channel before, you know I like to mix two golds to make up the one part paint. It's about a half a part each. You don't have to, it's just personal preference. But I use Atelier Interactive Pale Gold and then the PBO Studio Acrylics Precious Gold. I mix those two together to kind of get this gold. It's just, I just, I like, I like this gold and the, and the color that comes with it. So now my pillow, I have got my, what is this? I've got my PPG Multi Pro today. I've got almost a full container. So that's going to, the consistency of it, it has been upstairs. So it might be thinner than it normally is. I didn't, I didn't sit it down here because I do paint upstairs at times when it's not as hot. And so, but sometimes when I know I'm going to use a color palette, I'll throw them downstairs to help them thicken up just a little bit. All right. So now that's what we're going to use today. Let's go paint. All right, for today's piece, I have got a 14 inch standard canvas. I've got it taped up on the back and I wanna do a floating bloom. I wanna do the background. I think what I might wanna do is do a little bit off center instead of having it in the middle. I haven't quite decided yet. Part of me wants to do a middle one and part of me wants to kind of do it over here and kind of have it go off the edge this way and then have more of the background kind of over here 
Hmm. I'm going to think on that <laughs> as I flood this canvas and we will see what comes of it. So I'm going to get this flooded and I'll be right back. All right. I've got this canvas flooded and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it kind of off center. I do, you know, we're going to start with the swipes here. I'm going to use this tool here and we're going to put the, the gold cell activator. And I think I'm going to swipe out just a little bit more towards the edges. So I know we get a nice uh, swipe from this uh, with the cell activator to compensate for the bloom kind of being over on one side. I don't know what side it's going to be on yet. So I'm going to get this situated and I will show you before we start swiping. I forgot to show you, but this this is all I'm doing. I've got the the uh, just a thin layer of the gold cell activator. I <laughs> in my zeal, I went I just went and swiped without showing you. All right, I really like how that's filling in. I think what I want to do is. I want to do the bloom over here and I kind of want to have this as the background. So instead of going in the middle, I'm going to move it over to about here, just a little bit over. And we're going to blow as normal, but some of it's going to kind of go off and we'll just kind of enhance over here a little bit more. Let's try that. That's my idea. All right. I'm going to put the gold down first and I want to put it right And then finally the fluorescent pink. Alright, for this bloom, I am just going to do the white cell activator. I just wanted I wanted the gold for the kind of the backdrop. Do this just the white here and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this way because I want to blow longer this way and mm, I might blow a little bit longer this way too but Of course I have more of the pink over here that might go off a little bit more, but... We'll just roll with it. I'm gonna let that fill in. All right, well this, this middle still I blew kind of hard in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing over here. So let's get started with this.
All right. I'm happy with this now. This is filled in nicely. I don't really want to do too much over here because it's going to kind of fall off. I did make a little bit of some squigglies here, but I am excited to see how this spins out. So I am going to meet you over at the spinner floor and we're going to get the spin out. All right. Here's what we got before we spin it out. I just wanted to show it to you really up close. And it's pretty centered the way I want it because we want more to come off over here than over here. But I want to do just a general spin first and then I'll, I'll start guiding it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes going the way I want it to. All right, one more spin this way. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's opening up so nicely. All right, you know, I'm just gonna keep spinning until I have to guide it. So far, it's doing exactly what I want it to do. Oh my goodness. Ugh. This is so cool. All right, one more spin. We're gonna go this way. And then I think I might guide it a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I just wanna bring it out just a little bit this way. I really like how this other edge over here to the left is coming out, but I felt like the middle was just a little bit squished, so I want to bring the paint over this way just a little. And we're going to spin again. Yes, 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 yes. This is opening up so nice. Oh, I love how it's coming out too. Just want to keep it over this way. Actually, you know what? No, nope, I take that back. I'm gonna go back this way just a little. And we're gonna, actually, I'm gonna move it over this way just a little. I'd like more, a little bit more paint to go off on this side than this side now. Ooh, it even looks cool that way. Almost there, almost there. All right, I want one more spin with it off center like that. Oh yeah, look at how cool that is. Oh, I almost like it that way. <laughs> and I was trying to get, <laughs> I was trying for the other direction, but I almost like it that way. Yeah, I don't have a lot of paint left on here, so I'm not going to get a lot more movement. Let's see if I can move it up this way and get some paint to go off just right here, just a little. Just a tiny little bit. I'm being picky. But I love what's happening here, and I really don't want to lose any more over here. Okay, you know what? That's it. I think that's it right there. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh, wow, look at that. That is so cool. I like it this way, and I also like it this way. Oh, so super cool. All right, this is a winner winner chicken dinner. I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right, here it is as a whole. Oh, this 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 turned out exactly exactly actually how I imagined I wanted it to. <laughs> I love the background, how it played out, how it's just kind of it's very uneven. I mean, it, you're going to have some really neat, subtle shimmers in there. But then this bloom is just off the chart and it it went off exactly how I wanted it to. I'm so excited for this piece and 
I know with that pink in there, it will glow under a black light, but my black light's upstairs, so we're gonna have to check that out once it's dry. I love all these extra little swirls in here. I didn't get as many cells in some of these petals, but I just love the movement that was created with them. And I kind of wanted to just do some fun little swishes like that instead of my pullouts. Uh, but yeah, and all these little tiny cells in here, so super cute. It almost looks like it's glowing from within. I am so excited to see how this dries. So I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. Here she is all dry. I thought I'd bring you outside again because it's such a nice sunny day. And I wanted to show you all the shimmers that uh, are in this piece. We'll check that out in a minute, but I want to kind of bring you in and show you more close up just the details. I love, this is probably my favorite part of the, the background. I just love how it's so random, but this bloom, with all these different swirls are just, it's just off the charts and all these cute little tiny cells in here. And just like the gold, it, it, it almost looks like it's glowing from within. I absolutely love it. And this pink, we're gonna have to find out if it glows under a black light. <laughs> I love how these, these background cells kind of came in too. And I was kind of throwing in some of my, my palette knife swishes and then just kind of dragging it along. I kind of like the mix there. I thought that was pretty neat also. So let's check out uh, some of the shimmers and some of the orientations. Oh yeah. I love that. That pinwheel, you can kind of see that little blue black. It gets a little bit of the blue black, which is why I really like that pinwheel. But you can see the really nice shimmers from the background and just the gold in the bloom itself. Just gorgeous. Love, 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 love. All right, let's check out some orientations. I think this is probably my, you know what? This might be my first favorite orientation. <laughs> Going this way, now that I'm looking at it again. Ooh, that's nice too. Having it on the right instead of the left, that's really neat as well. Probably my least favorite orientation out of the three, but uh, I'd love to hear your favorite orientation on this piece. Just a little hint of a glow under the black light. I'm really digging this view though under the black light. <laughs> All right, I just needed a quick check to see, but we didn't use a whole lot of that pink, so it doesn't glow completely like other pieces, but it's still really cool. All right, I'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts now. Yep, the first orientation is definitely my favorite, but then the second one where this edge was actually down and then this was kind of up. Those are my two favorite orientations. This piece, <laughs> I'm still dying over it and how it came out, how it actually, it did what I wanted it to do. So I would love to hear your thoughts on it. What's your favorite orientation? How you liked this piece, the colors, all of it. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, so with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.